What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and it is time to start up Dark Siders 3. We're loading into the game right now. Real quick, if you've been watching the Pokemon videos, we had about a 200 millisecond uh, desync between both the webcam and my mic right off screen here. Um, I added a 200 millisecond delay to both of them to see if that would fix it. I will keep working on it, obviously, to make sure that it is the best quality possible. It took me a little while to notice it in the Pokemon games just because of how I was playing them and when I was reacting and stuff like that. Um, it, it took me a little while to notice it, and then I had already had stuff recorded, so Friday-ish for the Pokemon it will be fixed, and then obviously today for the Darksiders. Three stuff. Because there aren't any new games coming out, and I don't need to worry about finishing this relatively quickly or doing anything like that, and we have the Pokemon stuff going on that's more of a casual, fun experience, you know what that means for this. So, it's been a while since I've actually, like, fired up a game on the hardest difficulty and, 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 gave, and gave a crap. Usually I just fire them up on the whatever the difficulty that gives you the highest gamer score for the easiest buck, kind of. So in this, it'd probably be the balanced. I think that's considered normal. It gives you 80 Gs. The Apocalyptic gives you 80 Gs, but it's kind of whatever. It's it's just a whatever. I think the last real game I cared about, like firing it up on the toughest difficulty and, and caring was The Witcher. I fired that up on Death March. Um, other than that, I can't really think of the last game I fired up on a super difficult difficulty, but I'm ready for a challenge. So we're firing this bad boy up on Apocalyptic. I may hate myself in a few hours. I'm assuming, you know, starting out, it's going to be easy on Apocalyptic. It'll be whatever, but... Why would the creator construct a universe teeming with imperfection, misery, sin? Among the scholars of both heaven and hell, this query is known as the Riddle of Sorrow. If sin is itself a part of the grand design, is not sin, then, by definition, divine? A question for the sages. Though one particularly restless bunch kept a robust relationship to the topic, the Nephilim. Spawn of angels and demons, warriors, Relentless, unstoppable, blood mad, until they were betrayed by four of their own. War, death, fury, and strife. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Inconceivable power was bestowed upon the traitors by those sworn to maintain symmetry, twixt order and chaos. The Charred Council. Bear witness as the Council holds court to end the Nephilim War in the name of Balance. This is the new pact. War, bringer of worldwide fire. You are the juggernaut of all pain. Death, dark soul. You are the deepest decay. You are anti-life. Strife. Endless spirit of timeless unrest. You are all that is unsettled in the hearts of that which lives and breathes. And finally, fury. Terrible engine of rage. You are the machine that... Are we to waste our time on ceremony or are we to fight? Step forward and recognize, Horseman. You are the most impatient of your kin. The least predictable, dancing on the edge of your own reality. Your brothers understand the undertaking set before them. But do you? Still talking! Shall I have death fetch us some tea, or can we get on with it? Fury. Your role in this story is yet to be written. I wonder, will you light the flame of creation anew? Or stomp out the embers for good? 
as always, I will work on the audio. <clears throat> we'll get it to a good place by episode three at the latest. <laughs> Dreams more thrilling than reality. Had I known the new pact would be so exciting, I would have let walls separate my head from my neck then and there. Is it possible to die of boredom? Rampage. <laughs> Bored as I am, perhaps you're just lazy. If I didn't love you so much, I'd kill you just for something to do. The call? Finally. Please, please, please tell me you're a planet of demons that needs slaying. Or two. War. What pathetic fate have you brought upon yourself, brother? Watch your tongue. <laughs> I may be least favored of all the horsemen, but my tongue never found me chained to a rock like some dog. Fury, approach us. I take it there is a mess that needs tending to. Though you jest, you speak true. War has broken his vows to this council and shattered the seventh seal. <sighs> the apocalypse. Why would he? We know not yet. As we speak, Earth falls beneath the spears of heaven and the hammers of hell. So the horsemen are to ride. No. Wabachar Council seeks to understand how and why the traitor war has committed this abominable act. There is a matter that requires delicate attention. <laughs> we should have called Strife. He's the delicate one. The seven deadly sins have been released. By whom we cannot say. But the seven roam the earth, free of our prison. The balance between order and chaos is already in jeopardy. The seven cannot be left unchecked. War is in chains. Death is missing. Strife attends to other matters. The last time you faced the sins, it required all four of you. I can handle those fools in my sleep. But when this task is complete, I demand that you grant me my rightful place leading the horsemen. If you would trade obedience for a title, so be it. But never make a demand upon us, horsemen. You depart immediately. Greetings, Miss Fury. I must admit, this is a fortuitous fate. A Watcher? You doubt my allegiance? Please, be not cross. I am such an admirer. Scratch that. I'm a fan. You are the horseman. The only one that matters. Enough! I will allow you to accompany me. Just stay out of my way. I will be as unto a shadow. Steadfast. Silent. More silence! Go! Seek out the place called Haven. Your quest for the Seven Deadly begins there. Fury. Wait. I... Whatever has passed between us, search your heart. You cannot believe I am guilty of these crimes. Something is wrong with the universe. Be vigilant, Fury. Forces conspire against us. Heed my words! Alright. This is starting out nice. We get a new... We get a tag along in this game. I'm excited to kill the seven deadly sins, because I'm assuming that's what it is. So, also, if I look a little brighter, I actually got a little lamp out and uh, set it up to reflect the light back at me, so 
Ho hopefully, because I know when the screen go dark, it, it really, like, blacks out my face. Alright, we got control. Okay. So, right bumper is a dash. Right trigger is nothing. Left trigger looks to be, like, aim. Left bumper does nothing. Okay, well, I guess, like, nothing does anything. Except X. <laughs> right now, at least. Okay, soul lurchers. Fallen enemies will release soul lurchers upon death. Blue lurchers act as, act as currency. Green lurchers replenish your Nephilim respite. Yellow lurchers fill your wrath bar. I kind of want to let one of these hit me, but then I don't know... I, I don't know what healing is like on Apocalyptic, but this is going to be... It's going to be real interesting. Okay, so yeah, left trigger focuses... And then you can cycle between enemies. Okay. I'm gonna have to be real good on the dodges. Okay, you hit hard. Okay, so even the basic enemies... Wow, that that's like real hard. I do like her, her whip or whatever this is. Because it has range. It has, like, some ext Fury. We're close to one of the seven. I just know it. I hope it's not the enemy. That one's a terror. But, um, it adds range, so you outrange most stuff. So if you can single out targets here, you can outrange them. You can stun lock them from range. Which is really nice. Can I get a little health here? There we go. Small healing shard. So, I'm assuming you gotta use the healing shard. So, Barbs of Scorn. That's the name of our weapon. Okay, so, I don't really know how to use the... Hmm. Oh, there we go. So, you move... Okay, so... You swap at the bottom with the D-pad, and then up is to heal. But I don't, I don't really want to heal yet. But yeah, this'll be... This'll be, um... Important to keep distance. I'll need to... Play smart and keep my distance. Because of the weapon. I need to play to my weapon strength. Can I jump, please? Okay, so while jumping to activate whip swing, easy enough. So I watched one review of this game, which was ACG's. It's the review I watch for every game. Let me shut up. Haven. A haven for what? Vermin? Humans, mistress. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. <sighs> Where exactly do we go from here, Watcher? I... I know not but what the Council commands, Mistress. The quest for the Seven begins here. Envy. Mine! Human! Haven, everything here, <laughs> mine. Move on, horsemen, or ye be mine too. <laughs> I'm on a mission. <laughs> Protecting humans. Humans think creation favors them. They are apes crawling through dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the grudge you're carrying. Nothing left. They will be my playthings until they break. <laughs> you cannot stop me! <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not here for them. I'm all yours. No! Alright, here we go. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, you hit hard. Okay, hold on. Nephilim's Respite. Press up to replenish health when Nephilim's Respite is your active consumable. Refill itself by absorbing green soul lurchers from fallen enemies. Press down to quick select Nephilim's Respite if it's not your active consumable. Man, that's a... That's really hard to... Okay. That's really hard to get an attack in there and the timing here. Okay, so you can only dodge... Okay, so... This is good to know, I guess, for, for reference. You're... It's really hard to double dodge out of something. Okay, so you gotta... Alright. There we go. Okay, so you get better... Okay, so you want to aim for... Time dodges. Killing you is even better than I imagined. <laughs> what are you, how am I supposed to? I guess I got to get up there. I'm gonna use this as a trial. I'm trying to figure out exactly how to play this the best. And it looks like on the dodges, you want to kind of hold your dodges. Press X, X. Okay. I'm trying to re I, I what I'm trying I'm trying to figure out here exactly how to dodge the best because it looks like you can't like dodge, dodge, dodge really quickly. You gotta more have a time dodge. And you want to have your time dodge to be in or towards. I was trying to do the more Dark Souls dodge where you dodge, dodge, dodge really quickly out of the way of something. When you don't quite know what the move is. But clearly that's not, that's not the way you want to do this. And in pure, the way Dark Souls would have it, <laughs> you spawn all the way back here. I mean, I think you could run by everything here. I'm not sure, but let's see. Oh, you, can you jump on this? Okay. Oh, there's a slam attack. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to do now. Now that I know if you die... Okay, can I not... Thank you. I want to figure out how... Uh... How to dodge that's like my key thing that i want to figure out right now all right so that's easy to dodge out of i want you to swing okay that's not what i want to swing okay there we go oh that attack always gets me because i don't know okay do a swing do a swing through. Okay. It's gonna do the attack down. Okay. Now I know what to do here, so. See, that was much better. Like, I, I, I was trying to do the dodging wrong for this game, and it's gonna take a lot of getting used to. But I'm ready for... Okay, so... Okay, okay, you gotta jump that. Okay, that's fine. I thought maybe you could dodge through it. Oh, caught me with the bag. Where are you going? Okay. Just out of my range. Probably not the best time to heal there, but that's fine. Where are you going? Ah, oh, I didn't jump fast enough. That was my bad. Where are 
going now. Okay. Still getting the hang of this, but this is much better. So I guess you can run, it just doesn't look like you're moving any faster. Grab it. Okay. Free hits in down here. Hits in. Watch out. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Pretty. Come and get it. <laughs> That's mine. I'm going to have to get real sweaty for this playthrough. Because, like, that's first boss. That's easy stuff right there. supposed to catch envy I did watch this talisman it's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... Well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That glow... Will indicate when one of the Seven is nearby. I know. So wise. You are all that the Council promised, Mistress. I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher. Talisman of Sin. The Talisman of Sin will guide you to the deadly sins. It is displayed at the top of the screen and directs you towards the nearest sin. The skull indicates the nearest sin, and the circle indicates other sins that are currently accessible. Lurcher's crystals, these crystallized collections of spirits can be shattered in your inventory to acquire the souls cat trapped within. Alright, so exactly like Dark Souls, let's be honest. There's some definite Dark Soul-esque qualities to this game. Let's see. Small healing shard, nice. I want to save those. Definitely want to save those for harder bosses. I mean, I'm sure we'll get larger crystals and, and stuff like that, but for now, I definitely want to save those for bosses, because I only have two of them. And I want to save it for when I have a real shot at the boss. If I, if I mess up and, you know, I'm, like, struggling at a... I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't point out that even with the talisman, locating the other deadly sins will prove a challenge. Finding envy was easy enough. That was a gift, one I would not count on receiving twice. Envy was also, by far, the weakest of the deadly sins. Anything else to add? Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both Heaven and Hell have cordoned off the world of man into various areas of influence. Look around us. The upheaval we have seen is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an unenviable task, given these environs. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their hubris will lead me right to them. Perhaps, but you will need assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. 
All right, so we're about 24 minutes into this episode. I think this is a good place to start. We embarrassed Envy off of the map. Once I, I, I feel like this won't be that, like, okay, so here's my logic. Like, that was the first boss. I understand it's supposed to be easy. But logically in my head, I haven't played this game in a while, and I don't really know the controls. So, once I get all the dodges, timings down, because that seems to be my biggest issue. Like, I, I know when to dodge, but like, or like I know to dodge, but I don't know exactly the perfect timing. Because there's there was a perfect timing in that fight. Where if you dodged and you hit X, there was a counter opportunity for multiple hits. But most of my dodges were a little late, I think. And so I would dodge a little bit late. It would give me the missed hit. The the Envy wouldn't hit me. But it would, wouldn't give me the chance for the counter. Uh, so it's going to take some getting used to. But I, but I think I'm up for the task of beating this on Apocalyptic. It doesn't seem too overly ridiculous. Like, that felt similar to, you know... That just felt like a normal Dark Souls-esque boss right there. So, as long as we can level up or get new powers and stronger weapons and stuff like that, should be, should be, uh, you know, a difficult challenge, but a fun challenge. Shouldn't be feeling like I got BS'd or anything like that. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in episode 2 of Darksiders 3's playthrough. Um, I'll say it at the beginning of the next episode, but as always, these should be coming out every day at 10 o'clock Eastern, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern should be coming out every day at that time. Pokemon will be moved to 10 a.m. Eastern. So catch you guys later. Peace out.